Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another prestige video in Advanced Warfare. So, and I think I'm going to be reaching Master Prestige 5, and yeah, so let's get go right into it. So, as always, I go to my custom classes, and then my, uh, then my combat record, and then I prestige, and choose a permanent unlock. So yeah, here we go, MK14, I'm using this quite a bit. I've used the uh, Eagle Eye a lot, but then I got the Eclipse after, and I decided to use it. The Accuracy, ah. Uh, Plus two in accuracy is literally not needed for this weapon. If anything, it should have had like negative one accuracy and plus two in fire rate or something. Because <laughs> this gun does not need accuracy. But the damage, I guess, is okay. I, I don't really see a big difference in the damage from this to this one. Um, but yeah, uh, Eclipse is pretty good. And this is kind of the class I've been using it for it lately. And then the SN6, the third, better than the money. If you look at the stats, it, the third is way better than the money because it has plus one in damage and plus two in range. Well, it only has one in, plus one in range and plus one in accuracy. And trust me, this is the most accurate weapon in the game, so there's no point of having more accuracy f um, added to the to a variant for it. And then, yeah, I like to use these attachments. I think I already made a best class of video on that. I'll make another one, though, on another weapon. I'm going to try and use every single weapon in the game and then... Make a best class setup for it, or something like that. Make a best at, best class setup for all the weapons, or something. Um, okay, so the Lynx Tack Driver. This gun is literally so amazing. I just absolutely love it. The cool thing about the Lynx is that when you go prone and shoot, it's like zero accuracy right there. I mean, not zero accuracy, zero uh, recoil. And the stat, I do have both, um, negative one damage, negative one accuracy, but you have a parabolic microphone, which is eh, alright, the damage doesn't do anything, the accuracy is not too hard to notice. This is a lot better, plus three in accuracy, you're gonna need it a lot, cause it's just totally worth it. It does have negative damage, but the damage is still a two shot, two shot kill and still a one shot kill to the head, so attack driver, very good gun, these are like the attachments I use for it, I don't really care about the tracker site, but I use it anyway just so I can get like calling cards and stuff. And the next one, we got the Roundhouse, TAC-19 Roundhouse, best, best variant there is, plus one in firing and plus one in range. That is, when it comes to shotguns, you must have very good firing and very good range. So yeah, the right Roundhouse is way better than death, the Bang Stick. Look at the Bang Stick, negative two in range. I'm never going to use this gun. I don't even want to try and use it. This gun I use like a little bit, but yeah, the Roundhouse, way better, just, the, just amazing. OHM blood letter. This it, I literally have no idea how you earn uh, uh what do you call them variants <clears throat> for this weapon. I think you have to get them out of uh normal supply drops, advanced supply drops won't work, I guess. So that uh, kind of sucks, but this one has plus 2 in handling and left and it's pretty good. It's actually more meant for the 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 handling is kind of meant for the shotgun version of it, but I mean, it can't, but I mean, it's still good. I mean, you still have the same amount of ammo magazine as you do with the normal OHM, so yeah, that's pretty good too. Um, next page, we got uh, a melee subverter. Uh, th this, it's either this gun or the chicanery. These two are the most powerful melee variants you can get. Subverter plus two in damage, kills them really quickly, but you have like half the size as the, uh, as your ammo magazine. Chicanery. You have, I think, it's okay, so this is a little bit weird. So let's say, uh, okay, so let me get rid of extended makes here. So, so, um, it doesn't even show, what the heck, um, okay, well, <coughs> the Amelie subver is supposed to have 50 bullets in it, and the chicanery is also supposed to have 50 bullets in it, but what's weird is that it says it has negative 2 in uh, the ammo magazine, but it says negative 1, and it still has the same magazine as the subverter. So it's a little bit weird, but the chicanery is meant for a uh, better fire rate, but and you have a built-in uh, attachment in there uh, for advanced rifling. Uh, so yeah, do you either want really fast fire rate where you burn through your magazine faster, or would you rather, like, do more damage on enemies? I mean, it's your choice, I mean, but, I mean, like, they're both really good weapons. I recommend keeping them both, just in case you like switching them off. And uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't care about the class. I'm in prestige anyway. S12 whirlwind. Well, how close am I to getting a diamond? Three more headshots. It's really, really easy. Ten dog vibe medals. Need five more. Halfway there. Twenty double kills. I am need eleven more to go. That's whew. double kills with this weapon is just crazy. Good thing I already have extended meg, so that'll be a lot easier. I'll just probably just go in hardcore mode or something. Here's kind of a search and destroy class. I use MP11 Goliath. Love this gun. I already got royalty for the uh, submachine guns. So yeah, that's 
there's pretty much that. Um, and then just today I got the sack three solitary or all or you guys would could call it the sack 1.5 because it is the version where you have a built-in red dot sight and this gun is normally supposed to be uh, dual wield like this one. Oh my god this thing shoots really slow um, but uh, it's supposed to be dual wield, permanently dual wield, but they just recently added these versions where it has a red dot sight and it is single variant. And I'm actually happy and really disappointed at the same time for getting this weapon. So I'm happy that I've actually finally got myself a uh, SAC 1.5 variant. I'm just going to call it 1.5 just because like half of 3 is 1.5 and you only have one of these weapons in your hand. And I'm glad that I have it because now I'm able to aim down sights and I can hip fire and do whatever I want with it. But I already got royalty camo for it and I have all the attachments unlocked it unlocked for him. And but the problem another problem is is that look at the stats for it. Plus two in mobility, negative two in accuracy. This gun and here's the thing, you can't get a foregrip for this variant. You can't get a foregrip for this um, this weapon. Because um, it's originally dual wield, and so like the accuracy is just horrible. So if I test out the accuracy here, it just goes way, way, way up there. That like Look at that accuracy, that's absolutely horrible. So I'm glad I got um, a single variant of the SAC-3, but it has negative 2 in accuracy. So look, it only has one accuracy on it, and so... Oh, I'm just so disappointed, but at least I have it. It is not a bad weapon, actually. It's actually pretty good, but it's just exactly the same thing as the MP11, apparently, but I guess you know, there's going to be another update where they change kind of the stats on it, so it's not the same as the MP11. So yeah, the NA45 hurried. I'm going to be using this gun all of Next Prestige until I get Diamond Camo for it, and for this reasoning is because I really want this mask. Um... There's this mask I really want. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, go down to operator, um, challenges, weapons, weapon classes. Go down to here. Look at this mask. The sniper rifle camo mastery. You have to complete every single camo challenge for all the sniper rifles in order to earn this mask right here. And this mask is actually the exact same mask I am wearing right now. Only it is it fits in with the color that I have my chest plate and like the shirt I'm wearing. So I really want to try and earn that, and it's going to be really hard considering NA45 is the hardest one to do. You need long shot medals, which isn't too hard. All I got to do is go into hardcore mode and just sit in the back of the map and just pick people off, which isn't too hard in my opinion. But what I'm trying to do is get 80 headshots, which is I'm only in 23 right now, so it's going to take me forever. So obviously it's not impossible to get 80 headshots if I'm able to get 23 of them, but getting 80 headshots is just going to be madness, I feel like. It's it's going to bring a hurt on my KD ratio, which it already has, and so I'm going to try as hard as I can to get 80 headshots with this weapon and do what I need to do. And also, I think you can get uh, iron sights for this. Uh, yeah, you can. You need 30 um Headshots, I'm already 17 it says, but I don't know, this is like so confusing. So yeah, those are all my classes, let's go into my operator, my combat record, my combat record for my KD ratio did go down, went down by a .1, it's at 1.29, again, it used to be at 1.30, but whatever, I don't care anymore, I'm, I think I'm just done with my KD, let's let, just let my KD go down, just, I mean, I can go up against bad players if, I, if my KD goes down, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining about that, but one lose ratio stays the same, .84, Game mode's always going to be Domination, best game mode ever. Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm, Gun Game, love Gun Game. Haven't played in a while, though. Infected, oh. I played 49. <coughs> I've won 49 games already. Well, then, um, well, that's, that's surprising. Uh, Search and Destroy, I've been playing that a lot lately, just so I can rank up really fast. Weapons, always going to be HBRA 3. Then, yeah. Oh, Melee, oh. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. I've been using the Amelia a lot as well. Yeah. My third most weapon is the Amelia. I have a 1.46 KD. That's like the highest KD ratio I have on this weapon. And compared to every other weapon. Because the Amelia is the best weapon in the game. The Subverter and the Chicanery are the best variants 
in the game, hands down, I don't think there's anything better than those variants. I think it's better than the Obsidian Steed, for crying out loud, or the Speakeasy, or any of the ASM-1 and BAL-27 variants. Melee is way better than all of them. I hate it when I die from BAL-27 and ASM-1, but this gun is just, just shreds people. I just love it so much. Then, of course, the KF-5 has a submachine gun. It's my top submachine gun. And then SN-6 right below that. Like, look at the KD. Like, I have 1.37 on this one. And then I have a 1.08 on this one because it's so hard to get kills of this. Like, not that great of a gun, but I like using it. ASM-1, um, kind of, kind of up there a little bit. But I don't, I don't really use it unless I pick it off the ground. Um, which, um, 1.12. Oh, jeez. Oh, some of these KDs are, like, absolutely terrible. Huh. Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. I guess I could, like, yeah, no one cares about Exo Launcher. Score streaks, always use UAV. I've only earned myself the, uh, the, uh, Recon Drone once, and it says it's my favorite score streak for some reason. Yeah, like, totally, I earned it myself once, and I, I just love using it, obviously, so. Ooh, 115. You guys, hopefully you guys know what that means. Uh, anyway, let's go my medals. The only ones that are part of these, like, kill medals. Four frenzy kill medals, and then the double, triple fury kills. A lot of bloodthirsties, merciless, ruthless. 32 mer ruthless, that's pretty good. Nine relentless, three brutals, no vicious metal yet. I probably can get one soon, but who knows when that will be. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go right into Prestige. Master Prestige 5. That looks pretty cool. I, I like it. It's kind of a helmet with golden chains. Two, hey, there's two chains. I, let's call this the two chains class. Yeah, not class, but Prestige. This is the two two chains Prestige. Yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to turn myself into two chains. That's awesome. So, yeah, that's Master Prestige. I can't keep my attachments. Let's choose from an unlock. I am going to choose the NA45. When does that earn? 26. Yeah, that's kind of high up there. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Just... Yep, boom, there we go, awesome, I forgot what weapon I get, I for keep forgetting I get a weapon now, ah, pol ooh, the Polar Vortex, I do not have that variant, that is good, I am happy, very happy, god, the wind is like blowing my door and it's making noise, I don't like it, awesome, so I got myself a supplant, supply, advanced supply drop, Polar Vortex, better fire rate, handling, and mobility is absolute crap. Let's let's have a look at this weapon, guys. Let's let's have a look here. Um, yeah, no one cares about the bow. No one wants the bow. Actually, everyone does, but I'm the one person, and like the entire community who doesn't want it. And Nero Cinema, he's 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 amazing. Um, okay, so uh, I actually already have the Poner, which I think is a lot better than the Polar Vortex. But I'd never had the Polar Vortex before, so it's awesome how I have this now. Let's. Look at this. Ooh, it has, like, these things. Oh, ooh, this green laser, though. Yeah. I like this green laser. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this kills pretty fast. I guess maybe the fire rate does affect the weapon. I don't think... I think the poner has less fire rate, but this has better fire rate, I assume. And it... I think it has better accuracy. It... I, I think it does. Um... It's the same accuracy. Oh, never mind. This has negative accuracy. This actually is the, just normal accuracy. But the handling is pretty much what's mainly about the weapon, which I don't think... The, I think the handling is already good. Anyway, let's let's just shut up about the EM-1. Let's actually open my advanced supply drop. God dang it, stupid door. Okay, so anyway. They just recently added some new gear into the advanced supply drops, like legendary gear, which I haven't really seen any legendary gear yet, so I'll have to... Maybe I'll get something, maybe not, I don't know. I don't buy advanced supply drops, so... Yeah, I kind of... My goal is to go through... All 30 prestiges in the Advanced Warfare without buying any Advanced Supply Chops. I think that would be amazing. I would really enjoy that. So, yeah. Let's see if I get any of this new gear. I know they have, like, Disco Helmets and stuff like that now. And then they have uh, Royalty Weapons. And so, yeah. Well, you guys probably already heard all this stuff already. So, yeah. Let's open it up right now. Hopefully, it gives me something good. Give me some... Oh, yes. That is actually really cool. I am very disappointed about the ARX though. Okay, so I don't. I think uh, I might already have the Biohazard XO. I'll have to check, but I do not have the Nero XO. That is pretty cool. That is something I don't have, and I don't have the ARX Red Eye Coyote either. I don't have that either. Um, but I'm, I wish it was the um. Oh, what's the one variant I want? Ah, oh, the name's escaping me right now. Um, what's the professional version that has, like, plus two in damage? 
Oh boy, come on, come on. It's the Steel Bite is the Elite variant, which I don't mind. I think I can, I think I actually earn the Steel Bite from the, one of the Prestiges, which I don't know which Prestige it is. So I'll, I'll eventually get that weapon, but I want the Professional variant. I, God, I can't remember it. Oh, uh, gosh. Hole Puncher, yes, I want the Hole Puncher. But you know what? I might try out the Red Oak. It has better accuracy, range... And less fire rate. Hmm, interesting. You can't have any optical or underbarrel attachments. Interesting, interesting. But I know I have the Neuroxo, so that's pretty cool. And before we end off this video, um, look at my character. I just want you guys to um, enjoy the beauty of this character. It look like all golden and just badass looking. I just think I love this character outfit. I'm going to keep him. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating for whatever you guys feel this video deserves. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty content and uh, kind of uh, more prestige videos and all that stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I shall catch you guys next time.